Hi there, uh, Stu H back again. I realized that uh, I hadn't given you a, an update on my broom fridge. So I thought I'd just give you a really quick short video to wrap it up. Um, you probably saw it during the build process. It was a sort of very slow process. I did it over probably about three or four weekends and uh, I'm really glad I did. Um, and I took it slow because um, I think because I took a little, a little bit more time on it and was pretty accurate with what I was doing. It turned out pretty well, it fits really well. Um, obviously it was designed to be removable, it's not in the fridge at the moment. And that's so I can put a, um, a shelf in the bottom and stand some kegs in there as well in the CO2 bottle. I'm having a little think about a future project that would see me able to stack some kegs on their side. Um, so maybe like the CO2 bottle, if you think about it like a block like so with one sort of two at an angle, two at an angle and the CO2 bottle at an angle. I'd probably start looking for some plastic pipe, hard plastic pipe or something about the same diameter of one of the uh, corny kegs. And then I'd cut the two ends off at an angle and maybe board front and back or something. So I can then do four, four kegs, but it all depends on the angles. I need to have a measure up and see if that's going to work. Um, that will allow me to store four kegs and a CO2 bottle in there when I'm not using it for brewing. And so far that's worked pretty well for me. Um, I did sort of two beers back to back. Um, once they were finished and fermented out, I moved them to the keg and then moved them straight in there for conditioning. And then once they were conditioned, crash cooled and uh, left in the kegs, etc. So that went pretty well. So I'll show you the, the frame. Obviously the frame is... Uh, lopsided because the bottom of most fridges does that because under here is the compressor for keeping the fridge cool so yeah um, and as you can see all the notching here um, is um, not notched out to meet all these different shelf hangers down in here so they pick up and obviously the the feet uh, pick up on the front and back at the bottom so it, there's plenty of place for the weight of 230 litre fermenters to be distributed down the back of the and through the fridge yep so i'll just sort of show you um uh, some of the other little things i did uh just before i go is i glued some uh just some 45s under here just to provide a little bit more support i did the same down the bottom here and i also sort of routed out there just to allow that fermenter lid at the top to go back a bit further the one in the, in the middle doesn't matter it was just it ended up being the height of where i put something uh, it's not a big issue just a, a sort of final little fettling thing to make it work properly. So this just lifts in. It is snug. Um, it's, it's meant to be snug. I just need to lift the temperature probe up. Put that around that. I'll show you this in a second. It goes, it's a good snug fit and now that that's back door shuts nicely you can feel that it's springing so you know it's shut back properly the temperature probe obviously um, comes from the ink bird so let me see if I can get you a, a bit of a shot of this uh, oh, bear with me so you have the ink bird there with the uh, power cable for the fridge and the power cable for the pipe heater Got the pipe heater in the bottom there and the temperature probe for the ink bird and i don't know if you can see but they go through the drain hole and that drain hole obviously goes back onto the um, top of the compressor in the back of the fridge and uh, that's where any water that's or moisture con that condenses down there is just evaporated off got the sort of power settings for the fridge it's uh, eight hopefully you can see that eight uh, six four three two and super so that's how i kind of set it up um, you can then get, get your two conicals which i've kept the stands for them because it's convenient obviously to have them to store on but you can get your two conicals in the fridge then um, you have to have a little bit of think about your brewing order because in practical terms you really want the top one to be ready first because it's quite nice to be able to just um, go off the racking port on the bottom one i sort of tip the keg um, get as much as i can in from that bottom racking port which is normally about 15 liters 
and then obviously I won't have this one in. I'll just lift this one up to the top uh, to get the final bit out of it. However, you know, if you think about the order, just you really want to be uh, just doing it the right way around. You still can get this one out. You just need to obviously take the lid off to to get it round. It was a tight fit. It was always going to be a tight fit. There was never going to be a perfect solution without buying. Um, the, I think the only solution I ever saw that might have actually perfectly worked was a catering fridge but those were like a thousand pounds for them even second hand they were a thousand pounds so this is kind of what i went with um as i say pretty pleased with it but that's the kind of wrap up as far as i'm concerned the brewing fridge is done uh, i may come up with a, a solution around the kegs but that's pretty much it if you've got any questions around this build how i approached it or uh, what materials i used or you know anything else how i source sourced the fridge and did my measuring then just give me a shout uh, quite a few people uh, end up going with a freezer because the chest freezer because those are just you can stack in everything from the top and if you want to generate more space you can just put a timber frame and then put the mount the lid back to the timber frame and then put your taps in and you don't have to mess up the integrity that was one of my key requirements because i didn't want to mess up the integrity of the fridge i didn't want to knock any holes in it um so yeah that's where i got to i guess the only thing i might do in the future is the um the keg racker maybe i'll come up with a, sort of a tap system in there or something but uh yeah that puts that one to bed all right happy brewing cheers